In the 10th Parliament, the Road and Safety Act was passed into law and further amendment in the 11th Parliament. According to the Speaker of Parliament, government has failed to implement the Act, which would have helped reduce the road fatalities that have reportedly been priced over 5 trillion shillings per year. Nobody bothered to remove that road. I mean that car. This driver came and knocked the car which was parked on the roadside. And that's how this businessman died. I am ordering the Minister of Works, UNRWA, police, to have all the cars parked on the roadsides taken to the police stations at the owner's cost. You cannot have those cars parked on the roadside causing accidents, we are losing people, and the owners are not bothered. Just imagine the people we are losing on accidents. According to the chairperson of the Road Safety Forum, Parliament has passed 5 billion shillings for road safety implementation and all they need from government is for Finance Ministry to respect Parliament's decision and release the money. That for the first time, we passed 5 billion for the road safety sector, Ministry of Works, which has never happened before. So we hope, we hope that with this support to the Ministry of Works in this coming financial year, and hopefully that the Ministry of Finance will honor, because sometimes we pass this money and the Ministry of Finance, they do not release. But I, I appeal to the Ministry of Finance Please, for heaven's sake, make sure you give the road safety a priority. Alex Ruhunda, the Member of Parliament for Fort Porto, says the country loses over 5 trillion shillings to carnages. This has further been worsened by collapse of various enterprises that can't be sustained upon death of proprietors. All the statistics show that the country loses close between 4.5 to 5 trillion. Now, you can imagine all these uh, people who die on a daily basis. How can we replace them? Look at their experience. Look at the businesses they run. Look at the knowledge they possess for the country. Look at the assets that are destroyed and all the businesses that will die with people who go to the grave because we have not built permanent institutions with a succession policy that hasn't been part of our culture. So there is... The legislators have cautioned Ministry of Works to fasten the implementation of the law in remedy to the relentless crisis. We spent two years, right honorable speaker, making that law. The implementers have failed us. Much as money is an issue, right honorable speaker, the law is very, very clear. But you pass a road, you find a vehicle that has broken down, they are repairing in the middle of the vehicle, and you have to find your way in the middle of the road. In the middle of the road, you have to maneuver and find your way out. Right, Honorable Speaker, even in the law, it's clear who is responsible to meet the cost of towing that vehicle away. Works and Transport State Ministers assured Parliament of having heeded to the calls over implementation. We have taken your guidance and directive. We shall sit again with UNRWA, Uganda Police, and the Minister of Works and Transport to see how we can uh, work on these problems. Then finally, we shall bring a comprehensive statement to this house for further guidance. Thank you very much, Eternal Speaker. Sam Lanifa, Smart 24 TV, Business Today.